en question. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. Président, please be seated. The court now is back in Reprise session. And the floor is given to the la deputy co-prosecutor to resume your questioning. Pour la suite de son you may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Civil, Civil Party, just before Merci, the break, um, I was asking you Monsieur about your, your hometown of uh, Rousseau Dancourt. Um, and I was asking you, and I apologize, I didn't quite understand your, your last response. I was asking you if it was known amongst the uh, members of your home village who was ethnically, ethnically Khmer si and who was ethnically Banco, Vietnamese? Si les gens savaient qui était Vietnamien et qui était Khmer. Answer. Réponse. I told the court already. J'ai déjà dit à la cour. At the time, there were Lang Tai paper. Lang Tai uh, was Lantai. the family record book le at the time, so they knew who were Khmer and who were Vietnamese. I just Vietnamis. want to make sure I understand Question. correctly. Oui, uh, uh, there were family record books donc, in your village that were kept dans votre village. that indicated whether certain individuals were ethnically Vietnamese or ethnically Khmer. Si Is that correct? Est-ce bien compris? Est bien compris? Answer. Réponse. Houses had been burned down, so I had no more Les maisons ont été family record donc books. Plus de famille. And at that time, when I pled, I had Et only a pair enfui, of clothes with je me que les vêtements que je that I was wearing. You mentioned uh, what I heard was the word Lang Kai or Lang Tai, which I heard you describe as record books or family record books, which would indicate whether an individual was ethnically Vietnamese or ethnically Khmer. Is that correct? It's exact. Answer. Réponse. Once again, uh, one would know that the person répète. was ethnically uh, si Vietnamese or Khmer since uh, the Lang Tai or family record book uh, states famille, about that. And when the Khmer Rouge Question. entered your village, Quand did they have Khmer access Rouge to these family record books? Answer. I told Réponse. the court already at the outset I was uh, living in Rusaidankui in the floating village and later on I, I had been uh, relocated to live on suite, land by Khmer Rouge. Envoyé, et Khmer Rouge m'a envoyé vivre sur terre ferme. Did the Khmer Rouge indicate to you in your home village that they knew who was Vietnamese and who was Khmer? Yes. Yeah, people said oui. that it was said that uh, Khmer and Vietnamese had to perform On que manual les labor. Et les Vietnamiens devaient faire du travail manuel. As I said, uh, the uh, Vietnamese family Donc, had dit, the possession of Lang Tai, and the Khmer people also had the family record books. Et les familles Khmer avaient elles aussi des livrets de famille. And did the Khmer Rouge look Question. at the Lang Tai? Et les Khmer Rouge ont-ils consulté ces Lang Tai ou ont-ils demandé de voir le Lang Tai de la famille?
they looked at Lang Tai paper or documents. Le livret de famille. All of uh, those Lang Tais. Ils ont consulté tous les Lang Tai. When you and Question. the other Vietnamese families uh, were being told Quand to leave, vous et les autres familles vietnamiennes were you aware of the Khmer Rouge using any lists of names? Étiez-vous au courant si les Khmer Rouges avaient des listes, une liste de noms? Mr. President, I, I again object to the government. Pause. Le Président, uh, please ah, hold on. Um, oui, Mr. Civil Party, you have the floor now. Civil, Cooper. Le Maître Coppe, vous avez la parole. Um, la thank you, Mr. President. Merci, uh, I again Président. must object to the word words Khmer Rouge, certainly coming from the prosecution. Rouge, um, it's maybe one thing the Civil Party lawyer does it, but the Khmer Rouge expression is such a consistent theme throughout the Khmer Rouge family. Thank you, Mr. President. 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 Jobs or tasks that are being described. Uh, we have to be very specific. Uh, I just referred to um, earlier to to the meeting, the very high ranking, possibly the highest ranking uh, meeting in, in July or August '75 between Vietnam and uh, Pol Pot and Nguyen Chia. Obviously, there was a completely different thing going on at the highest level. So now, to just be very general and speak about the Khmer Rouge, um, specifically when we're talking about March, April, uh, May, June '75, is really not appropriate. So the prosecution, at least, should try to be very specific and ask not the Khmer Rouge to do this or do that, but who uh, was it, which, was it, was it even a cadre, uh, or was it some local person? Mr. President, if I may respond, uh, the Council for Nguyen Che has raised this objection multiple times. It has continuously been overruled. Uh, it is a term that the witness seems to, or the civil party, I apologize, seems to understand. If uh, Council wants to ask clarification questions later on, you may, but uh, I am satisfied that the civil party is able to understand the terminology that I'm using, and I would ask that I be able to proceed on that basis. Le président. President, the objection put by Mr. Cope is overruled in relation to the term used by the prosecutor. It is a generic term, and we have been using this generic term uh, since the outset to refer to the. Democratic Cambodia and also au CPK. Et aussi au PCK. And uh, actually, as it is known that uh, the term Khmer Rouge is referring to the uh, particular group, and On the Chamber made mention already that it will consider this term on a case by case basis, particularly when it du terme relates cas par cas, to some particular circumstances. circumstances. You can proceed with your questioning. Vous donc pour poursuivre votre interrogatoire. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, uh, Mr. President. Mr. Civil Party, I was asking you when civil, yourself and the other Vietnamese families were forced, forced to move villages, were you ever village. aware of the Khmer Rouge using si lists se to liste identify who had to leave the village? Answer. Réponse. We, there were around uh, 30 families uh, coming from Rosei Dangkui. Seven days after the Khmer New Year, Sept jours après uh, le nouvel an Khmer, there was a saying that uh, long live the king. Quel if houses on disait, had no one living, le roi. those houses would uh, Et si personne, be burned down. Si personne and dans at the time, maison, people la maison était brûlée. were evacuated. Et à ce -là, on a évacué les gens. The Lang Tai were looked at. Certain. Des gens ont consulté les langues Those who uh, wanted to live uh, on the mountain, they uh, would be allowed to live on mountains. And those who wanted to live in floating villages, they were allowed to do so. Ceux qui voulaient vivre dans les villages flottants, villages flottants, villages flottants, villages flottants, villages flottants avaient le droit de le faire aussi.
Mr. Civil Party, before the day of that you have described Monsieur, of the arrest of your family and the arrest of an, a, a, a neighboring family, uh, and they were taken to be killed. Were you aware of any other arrests of Vietnamese families in the village you were living at uh, on the mountain? Dans le village où vous habitiez sur la mountain? Le président. President, please hold on. Monsieur le Parti civil, veuillez attendre. La parole vous est donnée, Mme um, I object to this line of questioning. Uh, it seems to suggest or seems to imply that de question um, qui semble insinuer if the events described by the civil party actually uh, occurred, si les um, that his family was arrested uh, because se sont his family was Vietnamese, que sa that the other uh, families referred to uh, that these people were arrested because they were Vietnamese. It might, well as, might very well be the case et que les autres personnes aussi étaient that they were arrested and they happened to be Vietnamese. Uh, the uh, uh, also all questions, Donc, by the way, from the civil party uh, uh, lawyer seems to imply that um, if the events did in fact happen, que um, si ces these killings took place because the people were people involved were Vietnamese, whereas in fact um, the, uh, the civil party himself civil has indicated in a civil party application that he has no idea uh, why his family was arrested in the first place. If I may respond, Mr. President, um, um, uh, my question was neutral as to uh, whether neutre. the individuals were being arrested because they were Vietnamese. Um, the, the Council for Nguyen Che is the one who is imposing on them the interpretation uh, that, that, that that is the, the substance of my question. I simply asked whether he, the civil party was aware of any other individuals or families that were arrested who were Vietnamese. And that is a neutral question that I believe the civil party can answer. If there are, uh, if the Council for Nguyen Chea would like to ask questions about other arrests, he's of course free to do so. Des questions sur d'autres arrestations, il pourra le faire. Le président, the objection by Mr. Cooper is la Chambre rejette l'objection de Maître Cooper. And I would like to inform the parties that uh, you should Je not instruct other parties, parties how to put questions to civil party parties or witnesses. I understand comment that poser des questions. they uh, are aware and know how to put questions to uh, the witnesses and to the party before they came on board. Avant de se à ce Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Civil Party, my question was, um, before the day that yourself uh, and the other Vietnamese family were arrested uh, and taken to be killed, were you aware of any other arrests uh, while you were on the mountain of Vietnamese families? Answer. Réponse. What I know is that uh, is what happened to my family ce que je and sais, ce qui, other families. Ce qui est à ma famille, aux autres I do not know about other families. Uh, at that time, I uh, si knew that I was going familles. to die since my family je had been que killed. Mourir car ma famille avait été tuée. In the pit that your fam that you Question. saw your family in after they had been killed, vous avez vu were there other pits that you could see nearby? Après qu'ils étaient tués, y avait-il d'autres fosses aux alentours? Avez-vous remarqué d'autres fosses? Answer. Réponse. I saw only two pits. Je n'ai vu que deux fosses. One pit. One pit uh, was uh, full Une with uh, the uh, bodies of my family members, and the other pit de de was empty. Et l'autre fosse était vide. Thank you, Mr. Civil Party. I only have a couple of more questions that I'd like to ask you. Um, and these concern uh, when you were traveling to Vietnam by boat. Um, 
When you were initially traveling um, on Mr. Tali's boat, uh, and you were headed towards Phnom Penh, uh, did you see uh, many other boats traveling alongside your boat? And if so, can you give an approximate number of how many boats you saw? Réponse. Some people had already been on the ferry. Certaines personnes étaient déjà à bord du ferry. Along the river, uh, along my boat, along my boat, I saw, Et I noticed there were around uh, 50 or 60 other boats. 50 ou 60 autres embarcations. And did you have an opportunity to observe? Or to see the people that were on these other boats, or any of these other boats, or de certaines de ces embarcations. Answer. Réponse. We were rowing boats in groups. We were rowing boats along each other. Nous, nous ramions. Nous ramions tous. Were you able to uh, identify the ethnicity of any of the other individuals on any of these other boats? Des personnes qui étaient à bord de ces autres bateaux. Answer. Réponse. All of them were Vietnamese. Ils étaient tous vietnamiens. No other ethnicity. Il n'y avait pas d'autres. Was on other boats. Il n'y avait pas d'autres um, personnes d'origine ethnique différentes. Il n'y avait boats. que des Vietnamiens dans ces bateaux. When you boarded the ferry that you described, lorsque vous êtes monté à bord du ferry uh, at, uh, que vous avez in front of the royal palace in Phnom Penh, devant le palais royal à Phnom Penh. Um, was there only one ferry that you could board at that time, or was there more than one ferry that people were boarding in order to travel towards Vietnam? Answer. I saw only one ferry at that time. And as I said, there were around 50 or 60 people already on that qui déjà ferry. À bord du ferry. And I was told by Tali to board Tali dit de the uh, ferry uh, silently without saying Et any sans, word. Sans Otherwise, rien dire. Uh, Tali would Car be killed. Sinon, Tali pu être tué. And how long were you Question. on when you boarded the ferry? In front of the royal palace. How long were you on the ferry before it started sailing towards Vietnam? Combien de temps y êtes-vous resté à bord avant qu'il prenne la route vers le Vietnam? Bah, mon taille. I was. Réponse. I boarded the. Ferry, and I knew that it was up, up around eight uh, a.m. in the morning euh, that I was on that ferry, and uh, we arrived at Nguyen at around Lyon four a.m. in the morning. Thank you very much, Mr. Civil Party. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no further questions. Le président. President, uh, it appears that uh, judges Les of the bench may have questions. Judge Fentz, you Madame la juge Fentz, may proceed if you have questions. Vous avez la parole. Vous avez des Just two short questions. La juge deux brèves questions for clarification, pour, euh, you mentioned a family record book. Vous avez parlé des livrets de famille. And you said the ethnicity was recorded in this. Family record book. Now, was this 
Who kept this family record? Qui conservait les livrets? Was this kept by the village chief or by somebody else? Ou quelqu'un d'autre? Answer. Réponse. Yang Tai was kept by le my Tai, mother. C'est ma mère qui le gardait. Whenever we left for other villages Donc, and stay in those villages, et que nous we dans ces villages, had to show the family record book. Le de so the family Question. record books were kept within the family. Donc, families. les livrets de famille, les familles qui les conservaient. Who Chaque gave conservait you this record book? Who, who wrote, wrote this record book? Qui a rédigé le livret de famille? Answer. I Réponse. did not recall who issues the family record book. I knew that uh, my parents had the possession of Lang Tai or family record book. I did not know at the time who issued it to my family. But just to be Question. clear, this was not written Mais by the family, la famille, qu est, pour que ce soit but clair. given to the family by some authority. Is that true? Qui à, à la famille. N'est-ce pas? Bah. Réponse. Answer, yes. Oui. Just in case Question. you know, do you happen to know if Et there were an additional central register of names, ethnicity, etc., on village level, additional to the papers that were handed out to the families and were called family record books. Answer. Answer, I do not know about that. Thank you. President, merci, President. Madame la juge. Thank you, Judge. Now the floor is given to the defense teams for the accused. La, présent, la parole est à présent so donnée aux équipes de défense. To this civil party, starting first from civile, the defense team, for Mr. Nunchi, you have premier. the floor. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, le um, Mr. Civil Party, do you Monsieur, um, read or write English? Savez-vous lire ou écrire l'anglais? Answer. Réponse. I was quite young at that time. I uh, did not go to school. I did not go to learn Khmer or Vietnamese. You know, I was so poor at that time. I had no house to live in. So how could I was entitled to go to school? I did not even have rice to eat at that time. Maybe my question wasn't very clear. Question, um, ma question Mr. Civil Party, pas assez claire. Did, did you speak, civil. read, or understand English in December 2010? Parliez-vous, lisiez-vous, écriviez-vous la langue anglaise en décembre 2010? Réponse. Answer. I do not know how to read and write English. Um, Mr. President, I would like to show um, to the civil party uh, English document E3-5631. Um, which is titled The Supplementary Statement of Chung Yang Chet, December, uh, 21 December 2010, uh, interview by Lee Man Yen, Lachlan Scully, and Kong Lian Chuk. Um, so, not the Khmer version, but the English version of this uh, document. President, you can do so. Je vous y autorise.
Um, <coughs> I understand, of <coughs> course, <coughs> Mr. Civil Party, that you cannot <coughs> read what I just <coughs> gave to you. <coughs> uh, but on the bottom of that um, <coughs> document, <coughs> you can see a thumbprint, <coughs> and underneath it, uh, uh, your name, <coughs> Chung <coughs> Young <coughs> Chet, 21 December 2010. Uh, do you recall having put your thumbprint on the English supplementary statement of December 21 in 2010? Answer, I have told the court already. I know the Vietnamese language and I do not know Khmer and the French said civil party. President, je ne connais pas le Khmer Mr. Ni le civil Party, please listen carefully to the question. You have the document before you, and the question is, do you recall having put your thumbprint on that document? Vous d'avoir apposé l'empreinte de votre pouce sur ce document? Do you recall that? Vous en souvenez-vous? Chong Cham. Réponse. Civil Party, yes. Oui. I recall it. Je m'en souviens. Question. Um, do you remember that you put that thumbprint um, on that document because you agreed with the content of the document? In other words, was the content of the document read to you out loud, either in Vietnamese or in Khmer? Answer. They read in Khmer. And when you, when they were finished reading the Khmer translation of this English document to you, did you then tell them, yes, I agree? And did you then subsequently, because you agreed, put your thumbprint on that document? empreinte de pouce sur le document. Réponse. Yes, I oui. did at the time. Oui, c'est ce que j'ai fait. Um, Question. Now what you cannot know because you don't read or understand English is anglais, that um, on the English page c'est que sur First page. La première page. Um, en anglais. Twice, it's been. Um, it has been written down. Um, that. On a écrit, uh, deux fois. Events happened to you on the 17th of April, 75, se le 17 avril, according to the Vietnamese cal calendar. But that this was 17 March, mais qui en fait, il 75, du according to the Western calendar. Le uh, so it says um, that you were forced uh, to, to be transferred um, from your village to Dar on 17 March, 75, Western calendar. And that um, the events relating to your family also happened on the 17th March, 75, 9 o'clock, according to the Western calendar. Do you remember that that was what you were being read out at the time? Do you remember that you were being read Answer. I recall it having read to me, me concerning que the lu, calendar. Que lu la At the time, sujet du my calendrier. Uh, parents and family had been evacuated to Da village. It happened seven days after the my New Year. Après le nouvel an. I told what happened according to. Moi, j'ai dit ce qui s'est passé d'après ce que je me souviens. Et un mois period, plus tard, my après cette période, and mem family members had mes parents been, uh, et ma famille killed. ont été tués. So is it then your testimony that 
what has been written in E3-5631 on two occasions is incorrect, that you were not um, uh, transferred on the 17th March 75, and that your family was not killed on the 17th March 75, so that therefore this document is incorrect. I could tell only what I remember. I could not remember the specific date. If you talk about months, I could still recall, but if you talk about specific date, I could not recall. Let me rephrase, um, Mr. Civil Party. In a document presumably prepared by your lawyer, thumbprinted by you, you gave testimony indicating that your family allegedly was killed on the 17th of March, 75. Is that correct or is that false? I don't know whether this information is true or not. When I was asked when my parents were, what months and year my parents were killed, so I told them about the months and the years. So I could not remember well. Je ne me souviens pas bien. I understand Mr. Civil Party very well um, because it's a long time ago. However, um, under normal circumstances, it wouldn't really m m make a difference whether it was one month before or one month later. But now, for technical reasons that I won't bother you with, it is important to find out exactly when these alleged events took place. Are you now saying that you don't really know uh, the date that your family was allegedly killed? President, please call prosecutors. You may now have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. I object to the form of the last question. Um, uh, I think it's accurate to say that the civil party has expressed um, some confusion about dates in, uh, in regards to naming months, um, but he's been consistent in regards to the dates of both uh, the transfer and the killings in regards to the Khmer New Year. So um, if, uh, if counsel wants to um, ask him uh, in relation to a, uh, a date that he has been able to identify, um, whether that he confirms that or not, I have no objection. But um, my, I do disagree with the formulation or the suggestion of the question that counsel, uh, in the way that the counsel just uh, phrased it. Um, I, I was trying to find a way, uh, Mr. President, in order to make the civil party understand what exactly my question was. I do recognize what the civil party has just said um, in, in court before us all. Um, but I also uh, am still confronted with a document that he put his thumbprint on, under, under that was prepared by his lawyer in which it says two times that the events described happened on the 17th of March 1975. Um, so um, then civil parties basically answered that he was confused about the dates. Um, having indicated that it was like Khmer New Year or the fifth month doesn't 
change the fact that this is still uh, this date of 17 March is still in this uh, document, which uh, is also evidence, uh, and as we all know very well, can be used um, um, either in exculpatory or inculpatory way. Un commentaire, Monsieur le Président. Je crois que cette question a déjà été répondue. I want to make a comment, Mr. President. I believe that question has already been addressed. It appears that il a été dit par notre confrère lui-même qu'il y avait effectivement une inexactitude dans le document. My colleague said that the documents were E3 bar 5631. Je pense que tout le monde est d'accord pour le dire. Et que la partie civile explique quels sont ses propres points de repère pour expliquer quand sa famille a été tuée, c'est-à-dire un mois après le, le nouvel an Khmer. J'ai l'impression qu'on revient sur des questions qui ont déjà été tranchées avant la pause. Je demanderai simplement euh, aux confrères de, de continuer, car il me semble que cette ligne de questionnement est, est répétitive. Mon collègue ne devrait pas continuer avec cette ligne de questionnement, parce que c'est répétitif. It's, it's, it's not repetitive, Mr. President. I'm just trying to find out whether this document is accurate, document prepared by his lawyer, or whether um, the things that he said in court are um, is accurate. Um, it, it, it cannot be both. Monsieur le Président. The chamber does not allow a few rounds of Objection. So you should not uh, be on your feet again and again to raise your objection. It should be only one time objection or comment. This, not, this is not allowed by the chamber so far. President, the chamber hands over the floor to Judge Fence to address the matter. You may now proceed, Judge Fence. The chamber notes that um, the civil party has consistently, I think, twice referred to uh, the relevant incident happening after the Khmer New Year. Um, the Chamber also notes that there are inconsistencies in the statements that have been raised multiple times now, first by the civil party lawyers, afterwards by the defense. Um, the Chamber will in the end have to make its decision on what it believes and doesn't believe that any further questions will be conducive to um, further um, lead to further results that helps the chamber with this. So please move on, Council. Um, <coughs> Mr. Civil Party, um, can you describe for me Taping or Taping or who, who was he exactly? Uh, 
Ta ping nung khmai ka hom was a Khmer Rouge cadre He's at the Da Mountain in Kampung Leng Il est district. à la montagne de Tadam dans le district de Kampung Leng <coughs> You say Khmer Rouge cadre What do you mean with that He was the Khmer Rouge supervisor of Kampung Lane district. How do you know that that was his function? Comment savez-vous que c'était sa fonction? Because people over there call him the supervisor of the Khmer Rouge. That's what I know. And who were these people who told you this? Question: Who were these people who told you this? 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 Do you know whether he was a member of the CPK? Question: Savez-vous s'il était membre du PCK? I did not know at that time. Réponse: Je ne le savais pas à l'époque. I only call him the chief of the Khmer Rouge. Je l'appelais tout simplement chef de Khmer Rouge. Um, is it correct that um, you would have only known Tapping maybe one or two months maximum? Or let me rephrase, how, how long, what period of time have you encountered Tapping? How long have you seen him? Walking around. Was it a few weeks, or one month, two months? And if yes, when exactly was it? Et si oui, à quel moment était-ce exactement? He evacuated me to Langda, and then he told me that. We were instructed to build the cave, and when he ordered the Vietnamese in the boat to leave to find fish for him to make dry fish. Il nous a donné l'instruction de trouver du poisson pour faire du poisson séché. So he was involved in your evacuation. Um, he was involved in. Um, the killing of your family, and he was involved in putting you on the boat to Vietnam. Is that what you're saying? He told the Vietnamese people who live in floating village to go to find fish for him and those who live on shore were instructed to Kusho. Let me return to my previous question. Is my understanding correct that he was involved in the decision to have your family evacuated, that he was subsequently involved in the alleged killing of your family, and then also he was involved in um, putting you and others on the boat to Vietnam. Was that what you were saying? People who went by boat were not listed 
Les Vietnamiens so, qui étaient sur uh, le bateau n'étaient pas when listés. I was so painful after I lost my parents and then I did not remember parents, what happened next. Que je ne me souviens pas de ce qui s'est passé après. Let me, let me start again, um, Mr. Silvaparty. I understand it's a long time ago, but when was the first time that you saw Taping? Do you remember? When he walked me to the shore, Lorsqu'il m'a accompagné vers la berge, il m'a donné l'instruction de and that's, uh, construire only un, what un I logement. C'est tout ce dont je me souviens. Et vous vous souvenez quand ça a été C'était après le 17 avril 1975 ou avant le nouvel année 1975 ou avant Look, I took. He asked me about the months. I emphasized that it was after Khmer New Year, seven days after Khmer New Year, that we were evacuated to Da. So, so he was involved in you and your family. Uh, being transferred to Dar. Était-il impliqué dans le transfert de vous et votre famille à Dar? Est-ce que c'est exact? Bah. Yes. Réponse. Oui. And when your family arrived in Dar, was Taping there Question again? Question. Lorsque votre famille well. est arrivée à Dar, est-ce que Taping était en, était là? Got all you to room. He told me to build Réponse. the. Accommodation. Il m'a dit de construire un logement. And he told the Vietnamese people in the floating Et village. Et il a dit aux Vietnamiens dans le village But, uh, flottant. And then I did not know what happened next. Et je ne sais pas ce qui est arrivé après. Uh, you, you said he told me, um, but at the time you were 13, Question, 14 vous years dites, old. Il m'a dit, um, mais à cette époque-là, vous aviez 13 ou 14 ans. Wasn't he in fact addressing? Your father or, or your mother uh, as being uh, the adults. Do you remember him seeing, speaking to your father or mother? At that time, I told him that my parents went to grow jam for him. Je lui ai dit à ce moment-là que mes parents étaient partis the cultiver to, to go there. pour lui. And then de l'ignan, my, de la patate douce. I knew that my were Je savais que mes parents walked away to be killed. avaient And été that's emmenés pour what être exécutés. I I Et c'est ce dont je me souvenais. Je me... Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll take it um, very slowly, uh, Mr. Civil Party. So, tapping, tapping was in, involved in the instruction um, that your family, together with other families, would go to Dar. And once in Dar, he was there again, um, giving instructions to your family and other families. Is that correct? Now I explain this. He told me to build the accommodation to stay, but I did not know where he went to after that. So everyone was fearful of him when they heard of his name. Going back to his function, what, what was his position? You called him a Marouche cadre, a supervisor, but that's very general. What was his real position? What did he do? What was his function?
Hot. I did not know. Je ne savais pas, répondez-moi. Was he maybe the village chief of Phnom Kep? Question était-il le chef de village de Phnom Kep, le savez-vous? I don't know. I did not know Mais about that. Um, so once he instructed um, to your family to start building things, um, what happened next? Um, how much time was there between these instructions and him being involved in, in, the, in the transfer and the day that you said your family was killed? It was about one month, but on the day of building the accommodation, uh, that's when I met him, but I never met him later on. One month later, my parents were taken away to be killed. So what you said earlier, that he was also involved um, somehow um, with your transfer on the boat to Vietnam, that's incorrect. He had nothing to do with that. I did not know whether he involved in that or not. Uh, do you know why he went with your family and others um, from the village from which you were transferred to Dar. Do you know why he accompanied you, maybe, or why he also went there? Uh, is that knowledge that you have? He is the chief, and his subordinate there were about 15 subordinates. Le chef. Il avait à peu près 15 subordonnés. So he told us to build accommodation along the riverside. Il nous a and dit de after we finished the de la building the accommodation, I did not know where he went to after that. Où il est parti après. Now, do you know what happened? between Question. the moment that he instructed your family and others to build accommodation and subsequently his uh, involvement in the killing of your family. What happened in between? Apparently before there was no problem with between him and your family, uh, also not before the evacuation. Uh, also later in Dar there wasn't a problem. But a month later, all of a sudden, there seemed to be a problem. Do you know why? What happened? As I told you, so during the one month we at Port Rich, and at, at in the morning one bowl of porridge Nous and at lunchtime one bowl another bowl of porridge and in, at for dinner midi, another bowl of porridge so we did not have enough soir, energy to build the accommodations and it was also hot and cold and then one day later his force came and arrested people, tard, and then we know that they disappear. Ont les gens et nous que ces personnes ont so, so, so my question before Mr. Civil Party was, what do you know posais, what happened um, between the moment passé? that he instructed your family to build accommodation and a month later that he was apparently involved in the killing of your family. What had happened in that month before 
if you know. moment auquel il a eu, il a pris part ou il a eu à voir avec l'exécution de vos parents, qu'est-ce qu'il s'est passé The interval time between that, but I knew only that my parents had a fever and in the morning they were taken away. That's what I knew. What was the occupation of your father um, before he was arrested? What did he do? He was responsible for leveling, thing, leveling the land to grow jam, and when he became sick and could not work, he was taken away to be killed. Maybe my question wasn't clear. What I, what I meant was, what did he do before... Um, the Khmer Rouge um, took power. What was his function? Was he, was he a soldier for the Lonol army maybe? Or was he uh, a soldier for the South Vietnamese army maybe? Or not at all? Um, what was his work before uh, he was evacuated? Bad. My parents were born in Rosetta Kut. But they did not go to Rosetta Kut. They did not do anything. They were they were fishermen. But they did not do anything. They were fishermen. So your your father and 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 your mother and and the members of that other family had nothing to do with. Any fight against the Khmer Rouge before they took power is that correct? They were just your father was a fisherman, nothing more. Votre père était tout simplement pêcheur, rien de plus. Bah bah. Yes, that's true. Oui, c'est cela. And while Tapping knew who your family was, your family members were. At one point, apparently, a month after the evacuation, he decided to arrest your family. You may not know yourself, but have you ever heard any reason for the arrest of your family from someone else? Maybe from other villagers or. As answer, I told again and again that, that when we arrived at the village, my siblings and parents were asked to grow cassava. They were sick. My parents were sick at that time and could not work. The day after, they were sent away. Going back to Tapping and um, his the knowledge of him and your, his knowledge of your family, would you be able to estimate how long Tapping knew your family already? Um, how many weeks or months or even years did he know your family before the evacuation to Dar? I am not aware of that. I, at the time, did not know whether Tapping had known my family in advance. À l'époque, je ne savais pas si Tapping connaissait déjà ma famille à l'avance. Président, thank you, Council. Merci, Maître. The hearing today comes to an adjournment. Voilà qui met fin à l'audience aujourd'hui. The hearing will resume tomorrow on Tuesday, 8 December 2015. At 9 a.m. tomorrow, the chamber will continue hearing the witness during the hearing.
That is the civil party, the and civil, uh, perhaps uh, we may Et start to hear two TCW. Peut-être entendrons-nous aussi deux TCW. Nine four five. Please be informed and be on time. Veuillez être à l'heure. Thank you, Mr. Chung Yang Chai. Merci, The Monsieur hearing Chung of your testimony as a, with, as a civil party has not come to an end yet. You are therefore invited to uh, be here once again uh, tomorrow at 9 a.m. Court officers, please work with Wesu to send uh, Mr. Yang Jai back to his, the place where he is staying at the moment, and please invite him back into the courtroom at 9 a.m. Security personnel are instructed to bring Mr. Nguyen Jie and Kyo Nguyen back to the ECCC detention facility and have them returned into the courtroom tomorrow at 9 a.m. The court is now adjourned. L'audience est levée.